The next plane on our countdown, the cunning F-117. Oddly shaped, the F-117 Nighthawk looks like a fighter from another galaxy. But its unique design makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar. So the F-117, if you look at the outside, it's very angular. The reason for that is because the angles on the airplane do not present the radar signature back to the radar. The F-117 has faceted surfaces that act like tilted mirrors. These angled panels redirect radar outward, rather than sending a signal back to the adversary. To be completely stealthy, every inch of the F-117 has to be seamless. Not a single feature can extend from the aircraft. If you have one protruding screw or an antenna that pops up or something that sticks out of the plane, it's going to completely illuminate your radar cross-section and ruin any effort at stealth. Inside the fighter, stealth continues. So the F-117's canopy was created to trap radar signals inside the cockpit. It's impregnated with an amount of gold, and that gold will let the radar signal in, but it won't let it out. The F-117 is a major threat in theory. In practice, it's an unusual aircraft with unproven technology. One pilot is about to put stealth to the ultimate test. January 17th, night one of the war. Pilot Greg Feast has the formidable task of getting past Iraq's radar network undetected. The Iraqis had the most integrated air defense system in the world. And they had radars, thousands of AAA guns, and thousands of surface-to-air missiles. Iraq's defenses are controlled from a command post near Baghdad. In his fighter, Feast carries a GBU-27 laser-guided bomb, ready to hit a rock where it hurts. My mission was to take that target out because that center would allow the Iraqis to track the non-stealthy aircraft as they came into Iraq. Around 2 a.m., Feast powers down all lights and antennas as he passes hundreds of radar sites. Once over Baghdad, he prepares to drop the first bomb of the war at just 10,000 feet, a dangerous altitude for the Nighthawk. Our worry below 10,000 feet was not only SAMs, surface-to-air missiles, but also anti-aircraft artillery, AAA. And we were worried at any second we could be hit. If Feast is detected, his mission and his life could be in jeopardy. The first bombing raid of the war hinges entirely on the performance of stealth. January 17th, 1991, Desert Storm. At 2.51 a.m., pilot Greg Feast unleashes the first bomb of the war onto a radar central command post. Three, two, one. Total destruction. The historic strike grants non-stealth fighters safe passage through Iraq and lands the Nighthawk, a place in air warrior legend. <laughs> 